What's up guys, this is Val. So in today's video review, I want to do a review of Sketchy Tooled Edge and Archstar Shaders for Iron by Dimension 3. Now, this is a new item that looks really cool. I just love the way it looks here. These renders are just amazing. I mean, come on. Within Dash Studio and Iron, this is just mind blowing. Okay, so I want to give you an impression of the actual product how it, you know behaves so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know apply th these shaders inside our studio and show you live how they behave and what I think about them by the way um, there was a great video here uh, that has a lot of you know information here it's very very jammed with tricks so it's it's kind of short I think it's like just nine minutes or something like that was really jammed with information so you might need to you know view it a few times but you know I, I want to give you a, my own impression of the 330 presets and modifiers and how this actually you know feels like so inside that studio I have a scene of a sitting model female model and right now she's not sitting on anything so she's just sitting in there but that's okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the new package, which is located here. So the way you locate them, you go to Dash Studio Formats by Daz Library, and go to Shader Presets, Dimension Theory, and Iry Tune Shader. So in this main folder over here, you've got some main presets, all right? And one of them is the Tune Shader Base. Then you've got lighting graded and lighting solid. It's kind of three default presets on lighting and you know the the whole look and feel of it. So right now what I'm going to do I'm going to switch over to Nvidia Iway Preview, and I'm also going to zoom in on her face. All right, I'm going to choose surface selection just on her face. I'm going to apply the basic shader here. And as, as, as soon as that kicks in, it's already applied and working. And right now it's working with the light set I have already, you know, added to it. Excuse me. Just and this works with any lights you have in your machine. And right now I've got the, you know, the environment set up for that particular render. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just switch to Dome only. And right now I, I have a, you know, HDR map applied here, but you can just use frankly anything, doesn't really matter. Uh, because, it, you know, it adds its own reaction to the lighting, but you can light on top of it, of course. So, now, what I'm going to do is turn off the DOF, I have that for my former scene. So I'm going to turn that off. So this is now how it looks. And you can see just how quickly it, you know, um, applies uh, the two look, right? And if I choose the upper body, the torso, and apply that, immediately that changes as well. And that's how easy it is to set up. And then obviously you can also select the hair. Do the same thing on the hair. And what I like about this, and talks he talks about this in the video um, it doesn't remove the texture of the objects it just adds this tunish look to them uh, which I highly appreciate All right. I mean come on this is so simple guys okay so that's for that right now if you want to change the lighting style to something else you can just click on the few of these surfaces here uh, we can choose the gradient which looks slightly different this is a more like a more modern you know tune kind of 3d feel to it and you got the lighting solid which kind of is more a uh, flat looking really cool stuff I like how easy this is all right so let me choose this mid one here 
I like it. All right, and then you've got here full shaders, solid color diffuse, tune diffuse modifiers, tune outline modifiers, and draw styles. And here's where I kind of, you know, lose myself. And you know, I mean, there was just too much of this and too many options and I don't know what, what these options do or do not do uh, so for, for instance if I choose this one which is kind of a default you know outline right you can choose a thicker line or a super thick line or super thin but then he goes you know into these other stuff here and they kind of do all kinds of weird things that are probably explained somewhere there is a pattern applied and here is where I, I'm kind of lost you know now I haven't mentioned that but there is a user guide included right so right in your package in the content folder there is a readme there is a, a PDF file that has quite a lot of information quite a lot of information so th I, I would suggest you read this because out of the box this is you know it looks on the surface quite easy and when you look at the video of the creator who obviously knows exactly what to do and why uh, it looks so easy right but when I just get into this I'm kind of uh oh what, what's going on here you know so that, that's my first impression that I'm kind of overwhelmed with all these features and they are applied this is also you know in the video I saw there's like two layers of stuff and that's just where I'm kind of lost I would love to have you know like instant presets that just you know one click and everything is tunish right and then I can just fine tune the look but there is so a gazillion of options here and so I I'm kind of overwhelmed by that and I mean I, I want to do an honest review here review here guys I want to you know, tell you the way I feel when I when I use this so besides that there is um, and these by the way change when you, you know, look you know, rotate the camera they kind of follow the outline of depending on what, what the camera is looking so this is kind of I, I love the effect the 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 outcome, the, the value of this package is amazing, but the user interface, I mean, with all these icons, and I mean, it, I, it's kind of shocking to me right now. So, we've got solid color diffuse. So, let's choose the face and see what happens. Alright, so this I can understand. Alright, this I can understand. This is very easy to understand. No problem getting this stuff solid color diffuse you can choose that per surface so that is very easy to understand okay awesome and you got a gazillion colors that's that's great you got two diffuse modifiers and what is this diffuse modifier color diffuse a solid color diffuse and tune diffuse modifier there is some you know wording here that ki I kind of don't follow and I need to probably read the manual right but this is my impression out of the box so let's just choose tune diffuse modifier and nothing happened dark and diffuse see he the mission theory talks about some jewel layers here I have no clue what this is and I need to you know dig into the mile I have no idea what's, ha what's happening right now and the thing is all these things here you know it has different functions see some of the icons have strength some of them have contrast all right and some of them have edge contrast diffuse edge edge contrast so there is here is I'm lost here again right there is there is not the logical you know kind of blending of these icons I, I'm kind of lost here edge strength something you know and I'm lost so I would need more probably more folders to have you know 
and explained in 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 a language I can understand. What is edge, contrast, diffuse? You know, to contrast. What is that? And I have all the contrast in one folder, right? And I have something else like the edge strength in something else, in a different folder. Because right now I'm kind of thinking, oh, these are colors, right? And these are not colors. These are, you know, multiple options. So that's where I'm kind of lost. And you know, when you get lost here, you are really lost. There's, you know, it doesn't matter what I click on now. I'm kind of lost, right? This is a dual layer. I can see that. And I, I, I've, I saw the video. I watched the video. So I know there is, you know, a, a, a second layer here. Draw styles. Okay, let's pick the skin and choose draw style. And I recall there was this thing with, you know, these. You need to be kind of close to them in order to see them really. Like zoom in on the skin. Right. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. And. I'm not seeing anything, guys. So m my review <laughs> of this is that it looks awesome. Uh, the promotion runners are, are awesome. Uh, I find the icons extremely confusing because they are mixed together, you know, in in various functions and colors that are not colors, or at least it doesn't you know look like colors. Um, I just. I'm just lost with how it's you know supposed to be used, and for me that takes away a little bit of the usability of the product. I'm not saying it's a great product, uh, there is a great user guide for it. Uh, so I, you know, if you get this, you have to read this guide. You have to watch the video seven times and really dig into that. You no, know, all the details. It's jammed with details, right? But you need to dig into this. And look into it and really understand what this is. So it's not something you can just pick up and use right away. I just, you know, try that. It doesn't work like that. You have to dig into this, put some time into this, um, really look into the manual, watch the video several times, and you know, follow through here. But other than that, if you take away the confusion of all the icons, of the overwhelm of, 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 of you know all the icons, the uh, the results you can get here are breathtaking. I mean, this is really stunning, right? So this wasn't you know as fast as you know something just click and go as I thought it would be. It takes probably some time to dig into, a couple of hours you know I have to dig into this, understand how it works to really get the most out of it. So let's do a quick verdict here. Alright, verdict and the results is 5. And verdict 1 to 5, right? 5. I mean, if you take a look at the images, they are outstanding. I think this is just outstanding. So number of functions, you have a lot of options. So 5, I mean, top notch, top notch. Usability 2. It's really hard to grasp. I have no clue. I've been designing products for 10, 11 years. I have no clue what to click on, when to click on, and I have to read the manual to just understand the whole concept of all the edges, the stuff that are mixed together, and it's it's you know confusing the way it's it's laid out because of mixed functions in the same folder. They shouldn't be mixed. Um, so there is some learning curve for this to work. It's not just you know hit a button uh, and you got something awesome looking. You have to put some time. And if you watch his video, Dimension Theory's video, it talks about uh, different you know surfaces might need different settings. So it's not just you have to find a setting that you you, you like overall. You have to find and ad adjust, you know, eyes individually, and clothes individually, um, and skin individually. So everything has to be. You need to know how everything works, how every function works, how everything is connected. So overall, 
I think it's a great package, like I said, with the high learning curve. So 3.5 out of 5 because of the you know confusion with the icons. So icon confusion. And I mean the, the intention with many functions is great, but just the way it's presented, there was a little bit too much of everything going on in the same spot. And there was this this naming conventions like edges, styles, you know, diffuse, colors and all that. We don't know what everything is until we read the manual. So it's not out of the box the way as I thought it would be. So guys, that's it for this review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed that I'm, uh, you know, kind of honest here. I don't just sugarcoat things and just, you know, I won't just tell you go and buy it because it's awesome. I mean, it is great, but there is some stuff, you know, you need to know before you, you get it. So that's it for for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to get this uh, shader for Dash Studio, hit the link, and I'll see you next time.